I don't think that I need to remind everyone here that a long-standing relationship is being dissolved. And both parties have a lot to lose. And your point was the... My point is that one of these parties has to back down before there's a, a grudge match where innocent people get hurt. Yes, and that should be your client. Although his innocence is in question. Make that non-existent. Elizabeth, it can be proven that you married Lucky under false pretenses. You need to be the one to back down. Lucky and I have both made mistakes. That's why we're ending this marriage. However, I do not have any intention of allowing Lucky to dictate this divorce. You've heard my client's response. All future communication will be done through the court or its scheduled mediation. Excuse us. Brace yourself. Alexis Davis is a barracuda, and she is definitely turning this divorce into a brawl. Oh, yeah. Realistically, what are the chances of getting the settlement I want? I mean, I'm not even asking for alimony. Right. And we need to rethink that. You've got to ask for more than what you want. That's how you leave room to negotiate. And that goes for child support, too. Oh, I, at least, at least for Jake. I don't want Lucky's money. I just want to make sure my children stay with me. Don't worry. One way or another, you will definitely get full custody of your children. We need to prioritize, so you're going to have to tell me what matters most. Well, full access to Cameron and Jake. Okay, that could be problematic due to your substance abuse. Have you been going to meetings? I have been clean and sober for over a year. Good, good, Lucky. All right, Diana's going to cite your infidelity. But we'll neutralize that by referencing Elizabeth's involvement with Jason. Now, in court, you have to come from a position of strength. You can't just react to what the other person is throwing off. So, Jake is your biological son. This is your ace in the hole because that gives you lots of rights under the law. Okay, so what's next? Diane is going to try to mediate this for as long as possible, which is more costly than either you or Elizabeth can afford. So you need to give Elizabeth some sort of incentive to settle and sell quickly. How do I do that? By asking for more than you're willing to settle for it, to leave room to negotiate. You're going to have to file for primary custody of Jake. Of course, there is one simple and obvious way to make certain that Lucky does not get custody of Jake, and that is to tell the court and Lucky that he is not Jake's biological father. I've already sworn under oath that he is. I can prove emotional duress. Or we can have the court order a paternity test and you can be completely surprised at the results. No. No, it's too dangerous for Jake. I don't want anyone else to know that Jason is his father. Jake, he's my son. Cameron, he might as well be. Now, I love them both, and Elizabeth knows that she can't regulate when I see them. Just to be clear, Cameron could be a problem because you never legally adopted him. But Cameron thinks of me as his father. He calls me daddy. I, I just can't disappear from his life. If you get custody of Jake, she may be more generous with Cameron. Well, don't count on it. She's not going to want the two of them separated. Trust me on that. All right, now, is Elizabeth still seeing Jason? She swears she's not, but... If she is, we can argue primary custody on the fact that she puts Jake in danger every time she allows him contact with Jason. Lucky loves Cameron and Jake, and they love him. They need him, and I want him to be a part of their lives, but I also want primary custody. You will probably get it. You are a responsible person with a stable job and a strong support system. Lucky is a recovering drug addict in a high-risk profession. You know, he's worked really hard to stay clean. I'd rather not use his drug addiction against him. I know. That's why you have a lawyer who will do the unpleasant things necessary to win. Elizabeth has repeatedly allowed a man with a history of violence and who's been shot at several times to hold Jake in public, correct? Yeah, at the coffee house, the, the park, the hospital. Are there any witnesses? I'll start putting some names together. Before we go any further, I want you to consider the implications. If you play the daddy card, and if we argue that Elizabeth is putting your son in danger, you are essentially saying to the court that Elizabeth is a bad mother. 
Let me tell you something from personal experience. When you accuse a good woman of being an unfit mother, you are in volatile, deeply emotional territory. Are you listening to me? I can still remember every negative thing that Rick ever said about me in court. And I can't forgive him. No matter how many times I try, and even though I know that it'll be better for Molly if I do, I can't. So hear me when I tell you that Elizabeth is gonna be furious. She is gonna be deeply hurt. And any feelings that you have between the two of you or that you've had between the two of you, any good feelings might very well be destroyed. So if you wanna go down this road, Lucky, you better make damn well sure this is the road you want to go down. Hey. hey. I didn't expect you back so soon. My hair wants me to assist in surgery. I need to review the chart, which I think you have. Yeah, this is Mr. Good. Adams. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, I just worry too much, that's all. Nicholas? Mm hmm Just more of the same, really. He's been volatile and moody. I'm sure we're going to get through it. Mm. How was your meeting with Diane? Well, you were right about bringing lawyers into the divorce. I'm afraid things are going to get ugly. The false. Locker room is for hospital staff only. I told the company it was an emergency. Is it? About what happened earlier, I just want to stop this fight before it gets out of control. Yeah, well, so do I. Then fire Diane. Let Alexis draft up our custody agreement. No. Elizabeth, if you don't, then I'm gonna have to file for sole custody of my son. What? This is exactly why we should have our own attorneys. Let them fight so we don't have to. We agreed to make this as easy as possible for the boys. Then you went out and hired Jason's lawyer. Now Diane is trying to keep my time with Jake down to weekends. We agreed the boys would live with me. But you can see them whenever you want. Nights, weekends, whenever. A piece of paper isn't going to change that. But making threats might. Well, I have concerns for Jake's safety. How can you say that to me? I'm a good mother and you know it. Well, good mothers don't let mobsters hang out with their kids. Jason hasn't been around Jake for weeks. Your friendship with Jason is a constant danger to my son. And you know Alexis will have no problem proving it. Oh, I don't want this to get ugly but I will not stand back and let Alexis bully me on your behalf. And if you or your lawyer even think about implying that I've endangered my son in any way, I'll have Diane drag up your addiction to painkillers so fast you won't even know what hit you. 